everyone, my name is Birdbrain and today we are talking about rigging. So today I'll show you how to rig different kind of eyes. I will not explain anything about the pegs and deformers. So if you're not familiar with these concepts of rigging, you need to do your homework first and come back later. I've got lots of video explaining the basics. So now there's multiple ways to rig an eye and it's very important to know which one you need. Like sure, classic deformer eyes of 360 rigs are amazing, but they're also more complex to animate. So if your animation is very snappy and fun, this might be a little bit overkill for you. And a classic drawing substitution eye with cut or eyebrow might do the trick just fine. Or maybe you don't even need the eyeball. And just a few drawing is fine for you. And if you want to make a new one, well, you just make a new one and you edit the art. So for the first type of eye, we will need two drawings. So go ahead and create yourself two drawing layers. One will be the eye shape and the other one will be the iris. I'm just going to use a circle today because it's not about it being pretty, it's about being useful. Make sure to separate your line and color art on the right layers. This will be important for the next couple of steps. And for the sake of this exercise, please color the iris a different color than the line. This will also be important for later. Great, now we have a pupil in an eye. What we will do next is really think together because rigging is all about problem solving. You do it one step at a time. So my goal is not to make you learn a technique by heart, but, but more importantly, to think and understand what you're doing. So in rigging, always ask yourself, what do you want right now? Aside from ice cream. It will make your process of rigging less overwhelming. So instead of seeing this as a super big task, look at it by little steps. So what do we want right now? We want the iris to only appear within the eye shape. To do that, we will need to invert cut the pupil into the eye shape. To do that, just get yourself a cutter. And the cutter, how it works is something that goes through here will get cut by something that goes here. So we want our iris to be cut by our eye shape. Right? Oh no, what a nightmare! Now the iris is outside and it's not behind, it's really outside of the eye shape. So if I unconnect it, it's just not showing up. So that's why we call it invert cutting. You just need to invert your cutter and now your iris will be inside your eye shape. Now I know some of you might complain, Oh, why in rigging we always have to invert the cutter? It's stupid! So a little history fact. In the past, the cutter was used to cut away a character from a background that was not yet separated. So if your character was walking behind a table and you needed your character to be behind the table but it was only a flat image, you would create a mask and mask your character out of the shape with the cutter. Just like that. So the eye would be the table and the iris would be your character. So that was what the cutter was intended to be used for. But in rigging, we use it to invert cut things into other things. Great, now the pupil is in the eye, but we have another problem. The pupil is in front of the eye line. So it's easy, all you need to do is create a new drawing layer and you can just put your line art there. Ha 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 ha, no I'm kidding, we're in harmony, we're not in flash, we don't need to do that, we don't need that many drawing layers. Just gonna go get myself a little line art and color art combo. Because, you know, in harmony, each drawing layer gives you four different levels to play with. So since our line is here and our color is here, we can just use this to make our line appear on front of our pupil. Wow! When you rig, it is best practice to have this wire here go through color art and also have your color art be the cutter. This will prevent your line art from appearing twice. This is especially problematic for textured rig as the texture's opacity will be doubled there and it's gonna be ugly. Ew. So there you go, you have yourself a basic eye rig. And at the same time, we just learned how to do invert cutting. So this will be useful for lots of different stuff. So like details on a shirt, an eye, or anything you want to rig really will usually go along these lines. So with these kind of rigs, all you have to do to create a new expression is go in your timeline and you need to redraw the new expression. This is very useful for animation that is very snappy and doesn't need to be as smooth as a 360 rig. Yeah, it's as easy as just drawing yourself a new eye and your pupil will still be cut within it because it's using the color art of your shape. All right, and the other thing you can do to spice it up is simply to add a deformer on top to make your eye shape very smooth but still very easy to rig. All right, so I hope that you will have fun building yourself little iris for your characters and I look forward to seeing you next time on my channel. Have a nice day.